guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon and click it. Um, support the channel. Um, so anytime I drop a new banger, a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. Let's just go straight to it without hesitation. So. The two-time unified working of the universe and then Joshua uh did uh had his face his first uh, face off against the former or the linear uh UFC heavyweight champion on this previous heavyweight champion Francis Ngano Cameroon versus Nigeria. And then the press conference, they had their first press conference in London. I think I think there has to be a press conference in Saudi Arabia probably um, during fight week or something like that. But I was very amazed by Joshua's composure, Joshua's uh, tactical um, plan in terms of staying calm. Gano on the other hand you can look at his face you can literally tell that this guy wants to take Joshua's head off he wants all he wants all the smoke he wants what Joshua has Joshua has got a lot to lose here and he also got a lot to gain both guys we now know that both guys have a lot to gain because Ngano wins, he fights the winner of Usyk Fury Nest. And uh, Joshua wins, he fights, he fights the winner of Usyk Fury Nest for the undisputed, as uh, of course stated by His Excellency Sheikh Turki. Bro, I keep going back to this. 2012, in 2012. Joshua and Gano were in different paths, okay? Gano homeless, still in Morocco, trying to cross to Europe, Spain, to his destination, his final destination being Paris, uh, France. Joshua in London, winning gold at the London Olympics. So you see, if you measure these two guys, they have different paths both from the street but in a different way one came from the gutter and Gano his story is inspirational he's um he deserves everything let's just say like there is nothing I can say against Gano even if you want to hear on Gano even listen you know I'm pro Nigerian I'm pro Nigerian differently I'm also pro African but usually when two Africans are fighting each other, if Ngannou was a Ghanaian, for example, I will have a lot to say about it. <laughs> I'll probably bash him. But I don't know. I don't I don't think I will be able to do that because uh Ngannou's story is just is relatable, bro. If you're in Europe and you come from the gutter to be able to make it, and even if you you now able to like provide food for your family and do the stuff. When you sometimes when you sit down and just think back, Ungano was homeless. Okay, I have never been homeless in Europe. I've been through hell and back. But just imagine what this guy has been through. And for him to be here, that's why during the press conference, Joshua said something very remarkable. He said, I look to conquer Ngano's mind. Ngano's mind is what I'm against, not his physical body. Because anybody can be a superman, any, anybody can look the path. Everybody has a weakness, including Ngano. Ngano, if Joshua hits Ngano to the body the way he did to Otto Wallen, Ngano will feel it. If you keep taking such punch, you will feel it. Just like how the mountain man Mahmoudov got broken down by Ajit Kabayel. But 
when you have someone in front of you that has nothing to lose that came from the gutter like in gutter he has half or nothing to lose and everything to gain breaking him down is hard Joshua said that Gano his is a undisputed fight that was remarkable let's hear from me right here this again I'm not focusing on that I'm gonna take my mind you know I have to draw it back that Ngannou is my undisputed title fight. That's the mentality I have to have. Ngannou is my undisputed fight. Because you're only as good as your last fight. So, and I, and I respect him a lot, you know. He ain't easy money. He's a hard night's work. And you know what's crazy? Mm. So am I. Amen. I'm a hard night's work for anyone. So let's go. So, you heard it from Anthony Joshua saying, I'm a hard man's work for anyone. So am I. You know, like saying, listen, Ngannou is a hard man's work, no doubt. But he's also a hard man's work. And he's coming here not to play, but to go to war. He wants nothing but war. So, man, I don't know what you guys make of it, but I am really hyped up for this fight. I, I, on the other hand, I'm a little bit scared. Because I feel like uh, um, Joshua may... Okay, Joshua is very, is very, um, is very focused now. But I just hope he doesn't, he sticks to the game plan. First and first, Joshua should not trade with Ngano. Shouldn't. There's no need for that. Uh, Joshua is not a kind of fighter that wants to like lean on you, use his weight, stuff like that. No, he's a clean fighter. So it would be a very interesting fight. I don't think Ugano would. Uh, I don't think Ugano fights dirty because the last time he fought to Fury, he didn't fight dirty. Um, he threw the Superman punch after um, Tyson Fury um, elbowed him, like you know, MMA style, and Fury was open to break Ugano's now, like basically break his his call somehow i'm gonna just took it and like okay is all you got he kept he took it and kept coming forward so i'm gonna is an impressive guy you know strong you can tell like this guy has no like he's like the bigger version of joshua joshua is taller than him you can tell right here but he's the bigger faction of Anthony joshua stronger physically but technically not 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 even close to Joshua's level. But you don't win fight by by that. Every fight, 90% is always phys- is always mental. Then the 10% is physical. Both of them were very respectful. And they're gonna say he's gonna test Joshua's chin. Joshua say, listen, I will break you down mentally. I need to break your will. Because you can't beat a Malagugano by trying to outpower him. You can't do that. No matter who you are, this guy has seen it all, bro. In life, in the octagon, and he will keep coming. But you have to break his will, and that takes a lot of skills to do. With that thing, Joshua possesses. I can't wait for this fight, guys. What do you guys make of this fight? The face-off, the press conference, everything for me was amazing. Like which is subscriber guys. God bless you for the support of the channel. And uh stay for Mr. Bar right here. Cheers. Now, 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 now.